Mike, for the Ravens to be a contender, does Lamar have to be signed? Does this have to get done for that to come to fruition where in February we're talking about them as a Super Bowl team? It would certainly help from a front office perspective. You want to minimize distraction heading into the season. You want to have your players signed. You want to be focused on your opponent. Lamar Jackson's a rare person. Like, he can minimize these distractions. But it's also a distraction for every other player because the Dan Grazianos of the world are going to ask all the players about, hey, what do you think that your quarterback's going to be, you know, a free agent? So you want to do everything you can within reason to get a deal done. And, again, knowing that Deshaun Watson signed for $230 million in your division, it kind of sets the market, whether you like it or not, if you're the Ravens. So getting a deal done actually does help. It's a massive intent intangible and Nico you know as a former player you don't want any distractions heading into the season yeah I mean I agree I think that the sooner they can get a deal done to where everyone else can just focus on winning that's the most important part obviously we know they have the talent you have an MVP quarterback so I think the biggest wrinkle in this whole thing is we don't no, we don't really know what's going on in Lamar's head on what he wants. Does he want to be the highest paid quarterback? Do, do the Ravens want to get a deal done? Or is Lamar like, yo, I got the ultimate confidence in myself. I'm just going to keep playing. I'm going to keep balling. I'm going to have fun. The price just keeps going up. If I play another year and I have an MVP season and we stay healthy, I'm going to be the highest paid quarterback in the NFL. So it, it he's is, betting on himself. That to me is the most fascinating part of this story is the fact that we don't know. And don't normally, <laughs> Graz, we're supposed to know. Like that's – you, that's your job. That's our job is to know these things. And so we tell viewers, we tell fans, we don't know. Why? What, what do we know at least about this situation with him and the Ravens? Well, we know they've been talking. They were talking this time last year, too, and they didn't get a deal done. Uh, we know that Lamar has some idea in his head of what he wants, and at this point they're not there. So that doesn't necessarily mean – entirely money it means structure it means guarantee structure it means how much gets paid out in the first three years these are all ways that that players uh, and agents even though he doesn't have one used to to compare their contracts with other players uh, so it could get done but if it doesn't Lamar Jackson you know is, is a unique individual I don't think to Mike's point that it's going to be a distraction uh, he can stay focused on winning he can think about what's coming in the next couple of years the Ravens can franchise him next year they can franchise him the year after that and if you're scared of that just look at Kirk Cousins yep. and Dak Prescott and how that worked out for those guys they're incredibly rich uh, as a result and by the way Dak did get hurt the year before he signed his contract, right. and he still got that massive. But, deal. you know, Dan, to your point, I've been there many times where maybe the player, it's not a distraction for him, but the head coach comes into your office, can we just get the deal done? I don't want to have to answer one more question about Lamar's contract. And at some point, knowing John Harbaugh as the competitor he is, he wants to check that box too, so he doesn't have to answer it every single day. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.